Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the Access of Trading .com, uh nightly update show. Uh, only two days left, right guys? Only two days left uh, in 2023. Um, if you are brand new to the channel, just literally uh, stumbled on to us, welcome aboard. Uh, only thing we ask is if you like the content, uh, if you are uh, a student of unbiased, uh, technical analysis. Uh, you know, I, I think you'll 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 find this uh, useful. If not, you know, again, if, I don't know what you're looking for for guesses and predictions and all that stuff. That's not exactly uh, what we do day by day, uh, trade by trade. And uh, if you've been following the market uh, for the last, you know, forget about the last year, just to, just just in the last, you know, three weeks, you know, you can see we're just having a stairway to heaven. That's all it is right now. It's an absolute stairway to heaven. Uh, the market, it, you know, has not changed from yesterday's update, from the days before update, the day before that. The market's strong, right? The market's absolutely strong. The stocks rest, option flow comes in, and they, you know, just ram up the market. I, I, I look, I, I, I wish I could jazz up, you know, jazz up the day to day uh, of these broadcasts, but that's exactly what it is. Um, you know, technology uh, continues to be strong. The stocks that are breaking out are still breaking out. Uh, AMD, we talked about yesterday, uh, you know, talked about yesterday. Again, one of those days, it gaps up, it comes into rising support, they trap shorts, and you can see here by the 60-minute view. That's exactly what happened this morning, right? They get, you know, they, they, they gapped out the stock, they brought it to rising support, here's the rising support here, they trap shorts, and then they just ripped them uh, into shreds. Uh, and Intel, right? Even we talked about Intel yesterday, same thing. You know, Intel, they took it lower. They brought it down to the bottom of the range. They trapped shorts, right? They trapped shorts and they, they squeezed it into the close. Uh, you know, Tesla, right? You know, Tesla uh, is a name we've been talking about for uh, a while coming out of this channel. Finally came out of this channel today. Uh, you know, very, very impressive. Um, you know, is this is this the greatest thing since sliced bread going into tomorrow? You know, we'll see. It's to be determined. I, again, it's very, very tough to, uh, to, to vision uh, an expansion day, like a really, you know, one of those crazy expansion 10 15 point days but hey you never know and the whole point is now this is officially the highest close uh in this whole formation uh they are still coming with some a uh, pretty aggressive and impressive size uh in the options market the 265 uh the 270 uh weeklies uh, a ton a ton of bets uh for uh the january expiration 270 275s uh we even saw some february bets uh in the 300 so you know, the market continues to be just excellent, uh, excellent. Uh, NVIDIA, same thing happened to NVIDIA. NVIDIA is just all it's doing now for the last uh, four days is putting in, you know, higher lows, right? Low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low. And you can see the same thing happened to NVIDIA today, right? They brought it down, they trapped at, at the bottom of the range, and they brought it up green. And that's exactly what continues to happen uh, every single day. Um, uh, uh, one thing that we, we've noticed uh, in the webinar for the last couple of days, there has been an absolute massive, massive buyer at, at 494 for the last two days. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're coming in with size, they're showing their size, they're getting filled. And then as soon as an offer comes, they take the offer. I mean, I don't know how much size they've taken uh, over the last couple of days, but I'm assuming it's some sort of fund, um, you know, accumulating the stock. Obviously, the, you know, the running joke is, well, Nancy Pelosi and her husband bet $5 million. The stock is going to go to 530. Yeah, maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. It's, it's, it's not the point. Uh, the point is it still hasn't really uh, come out of an aggressive macro channel yet. And, and I'm saying maybe in the next couple of days, you know, they, they are coming, still coming. They were coming today uh, in weakness when the stock was trading down uh, in the four, you know, in the four, uh, what was it? In the 490 area, they were still coming for the 500s into weakness today. So, who knows? Maybe this thing really wakes up in the next couple of days and starts testing its yearly highs. It's just, it's, it's just one day. It's always feels like it's one day away. You know what I mean? It just always feels like a one day away. Um, so we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens there. Other than that, look at the, all the other mega cap names. Uh, Meta continues to shine. Uh, Netflix has been going through a little bit of consolidation for the last couple of days. Uh, Google, right? Google had a little bit of a fall today, but again, look what they did. They trapped at the bottom of the range here on the five day 
they started squeezing. Even when they try to attempt to to sell off uh, Apple today, right? Look at this, a hammer, a hammer into the close again, which is a bullish uh, bullish indicator. Now all it needs to do is reclaim back the 20-day supply in the five to start getting going. So I I, I don't think you have to be uh, like I said in the last few days. Uh, you know, you don't have to be uh, creative going into tomorrow's session. Let me give you guys a couple of names. I think probably in the next two days you're probably going to see you know less and less participants in the market. Um, I would love to see an expansion day uh, for Tesla tomorrow. I would love to see an expansion day uh, for Nvidia. If not tomorrow, but in the last when the last two days of the year would be would be really a perfect way uh, to kind of uh, end the year. And you know, again, I, I fully expect for the next two days we're either going to kind of just continue to grind, melt up higher, or have a kind of irrelevant down days. You know, really contraction days and. Uh, Bulls did their job, right? Bulls absolutely did their job this year. Uh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, next couple of days, again, you know, don't try to recreate the wheel. Don't try to make up your year. Uh, you know, the next last couple of days, try to, you know, play catch up uh, to price action. Uh, window addressing has already started. Again, like I said, last night's video, funds are trying to get the highest, uh, you know, highest flyers of 2023 on their books uh, going into 2024. And again, we'll talk about it more on the weekend update uh, when the you know when the when the first weekend update I guess on New Year's uh, New Year's Eve or excuse me not New Year's Eve after New Year's. Um, but you know, well, 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 look, we 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 have to tackle every single year uh, as its own you know as its own different structure. Uh, 2022 was great. Uh, again, if you traded both sides of the market, I know it wasn't great for investors. Uh, but if you were a trader, you know, we were below the 50-day moving average for 85% of the year uh, in 2022. Phenomenal. Phenomenal swan dives. Uh, this year, we are over the 50-day moving average probably for about 95 97% of the year. And we've just been just going higher, you know, regardless of inflation, regardless of interest rates, regardless of everything, regardless of your opinion. I try not to give an opinion, but... Uh, you know, it doesn't make a difference, guys. This is, will go down as a historic year for the markets. Uh, we closed today on the Qs. Where are we for the year? Let me just see where we are we for the year going into tomorrow's session. Uh, we are, and they're moving up a little bit after hours as well. We are fifty, a little under 55% for the year, right? Again, we don't know what to expect next year. Uh, we'll be ready for it, right? That's the whole beautiful point about trading pivots uh, we are not biased to one side of the market. We're biased to range confirmation, whether it's long, short, uh, or indifferent. Speaking of which, guys, uh, like I re reminded you guys, uh, yesterday, there's a couple of days left uh, to take advantage of the special pricing uh, going into 2024 for your first uh, your first uh, trial. Again, if you are uh, wondering about pivots, okay, again, all you need to do is is spend 30 days in the webinar. Um, I, I promise this is not for everyone. Um, you know, it takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of um, a lot of data uh, collection. Takes a lot of poise and understanding why supply and demand is so important. Why uh, it's so important. Why all these squiggly lines are on my chart. Again, for all you guys who don't know, uh, for don't know, they represent supply and demand. Okay, and the more they are, the better they are. And if you if you've never traded this way. Of course, it looks foreign to you, right? And, and, and the common thing I always, uh, I always uh, hear from uh, you know from from new traders that that are not exposed to this is, well, Dan, if you know eventually you know every line, if you put ten more lines on your chart, eventually something will hit. Yeah, that's the point. That's the whole point. We have to know where these stocks are going to stop. That's the whole point. If I could find more lines, trust me, I'd put them on. And I think uh, every member in the in the webinar will will uh, agree to this. So. The more information we have, the better. We don't want to guess when a stock is going to get rejected, where a stock is going to bounce. So if I could find more lines, hey, more lines to us. Lines for all, right? Like Oprah, you get a line, you get a line. And Scarface, of course. And that's what she said, right? So most important part uh, going into tomorrow's session, let me give you guys some ideas uh, going into tomorrow. Guys, don't get creative. You know, wait for your setups. If you, if you have to trade, trade for the premium setups. Don't just randomly... You know, buy and sell things because there's, you know, the market is open. You don't need to trade every single day. You're not going to get premium every single day. But if we do get a premium day, uh, these are the two stocks that you know should be uh, the, the the major, um, the, you know, the major winners. If you know, if we get a follow through, right? That's the name of the game. So uh, Tesla again closed uh, above the range here. This is the highest close in this whole formation here. 
Uh, if Tesla starts can start rec uh, you know reclaiming today's channel, right? Who knows? Maybe this thing could stretch. It would be wonderful. It would be an absolute wonderful way to end the year. Uh, NVIDIA, again, we're still waiting. You know, we're still waiting for this tight channel uh, to get confirmed. It would be an absolute wonderful, wonderful thing uh, if we can uh, attack this ch top of the channel here and it starts attacking uh, the yearly highs. You know, it's been gone through a pretty good consolidation now uh, for a little bit of time. Uh, look at a stock like VKTX. Again, I'm just kind of giving you guys some ideas for non-beta uh, traders. Uh, VKTX looks pretty good. Uh, keep an eye on that. Coles in the retail space, right? With all this stuff in the economy and this, you know, it looks like it's ready to go, right? Coles looks great. Uh, Meta has been uh, consolidating. Looks like an expansion day uh, is due as well. That's it. So usually Thursday, uh, there is no video. Uh, usually no, there's no video just because it's my res day since we were closed on Monday. I'll make the last video tomorrow of uh, 2023. Hopefully, we can have a nice, smooth day with no hiccups. Uh, and again, for all you guys who are thinking about coming aboard uh, and trying to get exposed to uh, the pivots, right? The wonderful world of pivots and the PS60 theory. Uh, again, take advantage. It's only it's only lasts for the next uh, several days. Uh, it's a wonderful eye-opening thing, especially people who have never seen it. Uh, and all you need, again, all you need is literally uh, 30 days to really see uh, if it's right for you. That's it, guys. Tomorrow, uh, I will see you guys. Let's see what we have. No rush, no stress. Business as usual, different day, same process, Godspeed. Guys, have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.